Hey guys, it's Miss Allen. Today I thought for um, Halloween coming up, we could make some silly pumpkins. So what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need glue, some scissors, a pencil, a white crayon, and some construction paper. So I have blue, uh, brown, orange, white, and some black. Um, you do not, if you don't want to do the green, you don't have to. Green's for the leaf, brown is for the stem, orange is for our big pumpkin, white and black are for the eyes and the mouth and teeth, which is going to be really silly. Um, I thought with my jack lantern I'd make it look a little bit more like a cartoon, but you don't need this much paper. You can use half sheets if you want to, like the black I'm using, or you can use a regular size sheet of paper, like the white, but um, I'm using this big piece of paper just so I can have a really big pumpkin. So let's get started. So like I said, I have a super big piece of paper. You do not need this much paper. But what I'm gonna do with my pencil is I'm gonna draw my pumpkin first. And so how I'm gonna draw my pumpkin is I'm gonna pretend this is the bottom and I'm gonna make kind of a bounce shape, a balloon shape maybe. It's gonna come out from the bottom. It's gonna come up. Curve over and back down. Whew, I got a little skinny on that side, but that's okay. So once you have that shape, you're going to cut it out. So once you have this shape, I'm going to use my white crayon to make some lines. So what I'm going to think of is I'm going to start at the top, and the first one's pretty easy. Starts at the top, it's going to come straight down through the middle. And you'll notice the white shows up on this, and it's because we're using a different colored piece of paper. So once we have that, I'm going to go a little to the side, and this line's going to do something a little different. This line's going to curve a little bit, and then back down. So it came out and then back towards that middle line. Same on this side. I'm going to curve out and back down. Now if this is hard for you, you can always just do straight lines. I think the curve makes it look a little bit more 3D. So I'm going to add one more on each side. Great. Now that we have that, we can start doing um, the details on our pumpkin. I'm going to do the stem and the leaf first. So I don't need a whole bunch of this paper. So I'm just going to cut off just a little bit that I'm going to need. And then I'm going to save the rest of this for later. So. I cut two strips. You do not need all of this either, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my stem first. I'm gonna make a rectangle. So it doesn't really matter how big your stem is, but I like to have mine pretty long, about the length of my finger. So I cut out my stem, and then this is saved for later. And then for this, this is gonna make our leaf, and I actually, or our vine, and I actually need it to be a little thinner so I'm going to cut it down the middle to make it a little thinner than my um, stem. And then I'm going to cut it in half because that's all I need. So now that we have the stem and our vine, we can glue the stem. I'm going to flip my pumpkin over and glue this to the back at the top. So I don't need all of this glued, I'm just going to put it down near the bottom of my stem because I want it peeking out above the, the pumpkin. Like that. Now this is the fun part. This is going to be our vine and vines are very curly. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to roll my green paper around my pencil to 
I'll get to the end. And I'm gonna pull it out and you'll see that it's kind of like a curly shape now, which is really fun. I'm gonna put this on the back as well and sew my curl curls over top of my pumpkin. I'm gonna put a little bit on the inside right here and I'm gonna push that down behind the stem. Now when I flip it over, it curls up around the top of the stem, which is really kind of cool. Um, so let's go ahead and do the pumpkin space now. I have that black that I wanted, and I'm gonna do some of the black is gonna be my mouth. I like a happy pumpkin. So I'm gonna draw for half of this, and I'm gonna draw it down here so you can see it. It's gonna be upside down and that's okay. But I'm gonna cut out from this corner, I'm gonna come up in a rainbow line and bounce down to the other corner. Now I can just lift that up so you can see it. Now I'm gonna cut that out. So now I have a mouth, I can have it happy, I can have it sad, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do a happy pumpkin because I think it's funnier. I'm gonna go ahead and cut his nose. So his nose is a triangle and I'm finding another edge and I'm going to make what looks like the start of a capital A or an upside down V. And I'm gonna cut that part out for his nose. So he has a little triangle nose. And then I'm gonna do two more things. I'm gonna cut out some small circles that are gonna go for the eyes. These are gonna go inside of the eyes, so it doesn't have to be perfect, but a little small circle. I'm gonna do two. Just like that. And if I wanted to, I could be really silly and add two rectangles as eyebrows. So I might do that. So two rectangles for my eyebrows. Now that I have that part done, I can get this part done. I'm gonna do white for the eyes and then we're gonna add some teeth. So let's cut a little strip because I don't need all of this white and save it for later just in case I need it. But I'm gonna make two eyes first. So I cut my squares down, I cut these down into squares. Now when I wanna make a circle, all I have to do is cut off the corners and it'll make it pretty round and circular. Um, it's gonna be a little bit more of an oval because of the shape that I started with, but that's pretty easy for a eye. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to make my other eye as well. Now I can also make the teeth. So the teeth are going to be squares. I like a nice friendly pumpkin. And I'm gonna cut these in half too, but I'm making little um, rectangles. And then to make me some squares, I'll cut it in half. And I only have six. You can have as many teeth as you want to, but I was just doing six. But now that we have all the parts cut out, we can start gluing them down. So I'm gonna start with the eyes. And I'm gonna glue my eyes down. And that includes these little black dots. And the fun thing about the black dots is wherever you put your dot is gonna show where it's looking. So if I want him looking to the side, I could put the dot to the side. If I want him looking at me, I could put it straight ahead. 
If I want them looking down, I could have them come down. And I think I'm going to do down. I think it looks cute. They're going to be one there. And one here. And the eyebrows are kind of the same idea. They give you an idea of how they're feeling, emotions. So I could do eyebrows just sitting like this, and that's kind of a happy one. Or if I wanted an, a mad pumpkin or an evil pumpkin, I could turn those rectangles and have it pointing down. I think I'm going to do a happy pumpkin, so I'm going to have mine kind of tilted that way. Now I can get his nose. And his mouth and teeth. So I'm gonna move the teeth off to the side for a second. And remember, you can have a happy pumpkin or you can have a sad pumpkin um, or an angry pumpkin if you had turned these this way. But it's really fun with this lesson to kind of play around with the pieces before you glue them. That way you can see what it's gonna look like. I'm going to do a happy pumpkin. Now let's add some teeth. His teeth. I'm going to glue one at a time in his mouth. Now I can have some at the top or the bottom. doesn't matter. I might have a mixture, but I'm going to start with the top. So now he's done. He has a silly smile. I ran out of room at the top, so I put my tooth down here at the bottom, and I think it looks so funny. But you can put your teeth where you want to. But once we get cleaned up, this is all done. I hope you guys had fun, and I hope you have a happy Halloween. Bye.